सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू ऑल यू बोर्ड्स एग्री कोचिंग दिस इज आर फोर्थ लेक्चर ओके एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट आर नेक्स्ट थर्टी क्वेश्चन विच केम इन आई बी पी एस एफ ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी फिनिश द पेपर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी क्वेश्चन थर्टी क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन डन लास्ट लेक्चर विच आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑफकोर्स थर्टी क्वेश्चन वी फिनिश एंड नाउ वी विल सी रिमेनिंग थर्टी क्वेश्चन विच वेर इन द इयर ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके लेट्स कीप इट बेस्ड ऑन डिस्कशन ओके इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट दिस इवेंट लाइफ ओके फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर देर येस गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन यू कैन गिव द एंसर्स ऑल्सो सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू लेट्स मेक इट एन वेरी प्रोएक्टिव एंगेजमेंट थ्रू विच वी विल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिक्युलर पी वाई क्यू क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज पहला क्वेश्चन क्या कह रहा है इट इज अ प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री in areas devoid of trees growth tree growth and vegetation situated in the places away from conventional forest areas with the object of increasing the area under tree growth dekho uh, aapki jo forestry hai forestry ka jo aapka chapter hai chahe fir wo nabard mein keh lo otherwise you can even say it on on afo syllabus so either afo syllabus either nabard syllabus इन फॉरेस्ट्री सिलेबस सबसे मेन अगर कोई चीज है ना तो वो है क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट ओके नाउ देर आर सेवन ऑफ कोर्स देर आर सेवन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री ओके ब्रांचेस वाइज सेवन है बट जब मैं बात करता हूं कि टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फॉरेस्ट्री बेस्ड ऑन देयर यूज और बेस्ड ऑन देयर जनरल क्लासिफिकेशन तो वहां पर क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड होता है कि पर्पज क्या है ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या है ठीक है सो बेस्ड ऑन पर्पज अगर हम देखें तो एक होता है सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री तो सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री मतलब क्या सिंपल विलेजेस के बाजू में या फिर किसी भी टाउन के किसी भी कम्युनिटी किसी भी पॉपुलेशन का जो एक एरिया होता है उसके बाजू में कोई भी अगर एक पर्टिकुलर लैंड है जिसके ऊपर फॉरेस्ट उगाए जाते हैं तो उसको हम सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री कहते हैं ठीक है वेयर ऑफकोर्स द कम्युनिटी इज इन्वॉल्व इट हैज सम सोशल इंपॉर्टेंस नाउ इट मे बी रिलीजियस इट मे बी सोशियो इकोनॉमिक ओके सो हियर ऑफकोर्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट ओके द ग्रोथ ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट द कल्टिवेशन द हार्वेस्टिंग एवरीथिंग इज डन बाय टाउन्स विलेजेस और एनी टाइप ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एनी टाइप ऑफ पर्टिकुलर सेटलमेंट पर्टिकुलरली ओके देन रिक्रिएशनल फॉरेस्ट्री रिक्रिएशन मतलब क्या होता है देखो नेशनल पार्क हम सब गए ठीक है वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज हम सब गए तो जहां पर भी ऐसे फॉरेस्ट होते हैं वहां पर हम रिक्रिएशनल पर्पजेस के लिए जाते हैं मतलब कौन से सिंपल टूरिज्म के लिए जाते हो आप ठीक है ऐसे बर्ड वाचिंग के लिए चले जाते हो जू नेशनल पार्क्स तो साइट सीइंग उसके बाद नेचुरल ब्यूटी सीनिक ब्यूटी देखने के लिए ये सारी रिक्रिएशनल एक्टिविटीज होती है देखो हाँ ठीक है तो मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली ये याद रखना कि टूरिज्म एक्टिविटीज ठीक है नेचुरल और सीनिक ब्यूटी वाली एक्टिविटीज एज वेल एज बायोडाइवर्सिटी फ्लोरा फोना वाली एक्टिविटीज ये सारी चीजें रिक्रिएशनल फॉरेस्ट्री में आ जाती है देन फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री अब याद रखो आपको पता ही होगा ये हमने टर्म देखी है कि नहीं कौन सा साइंटिफिक क्लासिफिकेशन देखते कौन सा साइंटिफिक क्लासिफिकेशन वाली टर्म जहां पर फॉरेस्ट भी है और आपका एग्रीकल्चर भी है कौन सा है वो एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर एग्री मतलब क्या क्रॉप्स क्रॉप्स के साथ अगर मैं सिल्वी मतलब क्या ट्रीज उनका अगर मैं कॉम्बिनेशन प्लान करता हूं तो उसका उसको हम क्या कहते हैं ऑफकोर्स फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री ही कहते हैं फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री इज सब टाइप ऑफ एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर जो हम मेन क्लासिफिकेशन देखते हैं ओके ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर एग्री सिल्वी पास्टोरल राइट तो इस तरह से जो क्लासिफिकेशन होता है बेस्ड ऑन दैट फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री इज ऑल्सो सब टाइप ऑफ एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर फिर आता है मिक्सड फॉरेस्ट्री अब मिक्स फॉरेस्ट्री ऐसी फॉरेस्ट्री होती है जहां पर फॉरेस्ट्री के साथ साथ आप दूसरे अलर्ड एक्टिविटीज भी करते हो ठीक है तो इसका मतलब क्या है आप कभी कभार एपिकल्चर कर रहे हो आप सिल्वी कल्चर भी कर रहे हो फॉरेस्ट्री के साथ तो ये सारी चीजें मिक्स्ड फॉरेस्ट्री हो जाती है इस सेंटेंस को अगर आप पढ़ोगे इन ए बी सी डी कहीं पर भी इस सेंटेंस से रिलेट नहीं कर रहा इट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू दैट सर प्लीज इंग्लिश सर और ओके आई सी वट आई मीन टू मीन टू से इज दैट सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री रिक्रिएशनल फॉरेस्ट्री फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री मिक्स फॉरेस्ट्री इफ यू सी एवरी डेफिनेशन इट नो वेर मैचेस दी अपर पैसेज विच हैज बिन गिवन सी any type of forestry which is done for extended purpose extended means what of course it main objective is to increase the area which is under the forest cultivation and that type is of course extension forestry now as i said it in hindi i will repeat it specially for brinda okay brinda aapke liye fir se repeat karunga social forestry of course 
केयर टेकन ऑफ ट्रीज हार्वेस्टेड कल्टिवेटेड एवरीथिंग डन बाय अ पर्टिक्युलर सेटलमेंट अ पर्टिक्युलर सोसायटी दैट इज युअर सोशल फॉरेस्ट्री ऑल्सो हियर द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ फॉरेस्ट ओवरऑल ग्रोथ ऑफ फॉरेस्ट दैट इज डन फ्रॉम द सोशो इकोनॉमिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव विच हैव बीन सीन बाय दैट पर्टिक्युलर कम्युनिटी विलेज टाउन वॉट एवर देन रिक्रिएशनल फॉरेस्ट्री फॉर ऑल द रिक्रिएशनल पर्पजेस नेशनल पार्क जू एक्सेट्रा फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री एग्री सिल्वी कल्चर ओके एग्रीकल्चरल क्रॉप्स फील्ड क्रॉप्स प्लस ट्रीज ओके दैट्स युअर फार्म फॉरेस्ट्री एंड मिक्स फॉरेस्ट्री इज वॉट ऑफकोर्स सिल्वी कल्चर एप्रीकल्चर अलाइड एक्टिविटीज एंड ब्रिंगिंग फॉरेस्ट्री टूगेदर ओके इन दिस यू कैन ऑल्सो ब्रिंग इन बिटवीन एग्रीकल्चर ऑल्सो ऑल द थिंग ऑल द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एक्टिविटीज कमिंग टूगेदर वेर अलॉन्ग दी फॉरेस्ट्री वी गैट वी गॉट आर आंसर एक्सटेंशन फॉरेस्ट्री एंड यस एक्सटेंशन फॉरेस्ट्री प्रैक्टिस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट्री इन एरियाज वेर देर इज डिवाइड ऑफ ट्री ग्रोथ ट्री ग्रोथ इज लेस दैट मीन्स ग्रास लैंड यू कैन टेक एक्साम्पल अदर विजिटेशन सिचुएटेड इन द प्लेस वेर कन्वेंशनल फॉरेस्ट एरियाज एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू इंक्रीज द एरिया विद द फॉरेस्ट ट्री ग्रोथ नेक्स्ट टू रिड्यूस द फर्टिलाइजर यूज गवर्नमेंट हैज डिक्लेयर यूरिया बैक साइज फ्रॉम फिफ्टी के जी टू डैश डैश के जी नाउ यू गाइज टेल मी इसका आंसर क्या आएगा सी फर्स्ट पार्ट आई एक्सप्लेन इन हिंदी एंड देन आई एक्सप्लेन इन इंग्लिश डोंट वरी ब्रिंदा ओके क्वेश्चन क्या पूछ रहा है सिंपल हमें पहले पता है कि ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन में सबसे ज्यादा अगर कोई फर्टिलाइजर यूज हुआ है तो वो हुआ है यूरिया दो रीजन से यूरिया है एक तो नाइट्रो नाइट्रोजन ओरिएंटेड फर्टिलाइजर अब नाइट्रोजनस फर्टिलाइजर होने की वजह से हमें एक पता होगा कि यूरिया रैपिडली क्यों यूज किया जाता है ऑफकोर्स ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन में यूज होते हैं कौन से कौन से क्रॉप सीरियल्स खास करके राइस और व्हीट एंड राइस एंड व्हीट आर वेरी वेल ग्रोन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ द मेन फर्टिलाइजर दैट इज योर नाइट्रोजन कंपोनेंट एंड द टॉप ऑफ दैट ऑफकोर्स अंडर योर वेरियस न्यूट्रिएंट सब्सिडी स्कीम्स यूरिया हैज गॉट अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सिडी यूरिया ऐसे बस हम बांटते गए हैं सो वॉट आई मीन टू से इज दैट बिर इन द सिंपल ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन ऑब्जेक्टिव वॉज टू इंक्रीज द सीरियल क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन राइस एंड व्हीट प्रोडक्शन वुड हैव बीन इंक्रीज ओनली इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ हाई यल्डिंग वराइटी सीड्स वेन प्लांटेड विथ फर्टिलाइजर्स सच एज यूरिया बिकॉज हाई नाइट्रोजन और प्योरिटी एज वेल एज कंटेंट नाउ वेन यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस now after using excessive nitrogen earlier the ideal nitrogen ratio is 8 is to 4 is to 1 okay now if you this is the ideal nitrogen ratio of the soil okay npk ratio this is the ideal npk ratio in india and in the certain states of punjab haryana if you go and see it has become 36 is to 28 is to 18 so just look at the excessive use of urea or nitrogenous fertilizers so therefore for the long term you will understand that nitro heavy use of npk fertilizers results into salinity of soil so therefore government is trying to decrease the urea back size that means of course see psychologically farmers will not even if you tell farmers ruk jao zyada urea mat use karo don't buy more urea urea in long term it is very very Fat, uh, fatal, but farmers want to do profit right now. So therefore, try to understand. Farmer psychologically will not stop buying urea fertilizers. They will keep on buying. So it is a nudge mechanism. What is it? Nudge theory. Nudge means what? See, looking at farmer's psychology, he is not going to stop buying the fertilizers. So therefore, why not to reduce the size? So that's what government is doing. Fifty kg size has been reduced to. 45 kg so here you could see government decision to reduce the size of urea bags to 45 kg in 2017 earlier norm was 50 kg it was brought down to 45 kg and the consumption of fertilizer of nitrogen was da was brought down 8% per hectare so every hectare whatever the fertilizer was used 8% of that usage was reduced because of this 50 kg now being 45 kg everybody is right very good supriya sandhya kunal brinda everyone okay so sorry which machinery can be used for all purpose like sowing field preparation weeding etc etc disc plow no disc plow is used only for which activity disc plow what is it used for tell me quickly disc harrow harrowing cultivator of course cultivation and harvesting activities land leveling disc plow is for 
flowing, tillage as well as harrowing activities. So the answer here is rotavator. Answer here is rotavator. Then, question 4. To prevent soil erosion in hills, dash is done. Now, to prevent erosion in hills, anyone? To prevent erosion in hills, tell me. To prevent erosion in hills, is bench terracing done, counter bunding done, terrace farming done, zinc terracing done or graded bunding done? Prashant Takur, how rotavator? Are look at the options. What are you talking about Prashant? Which machine is used for sowing, field preparation and weeding also? All three operations. Is disc, is disc flow used for sowing? No. Eliminate it. Disc harrow? No. Not used for sowing. Eliminate it. Cultivator? Is it used for weeding? No. Land leveler? Is it used for weeding? Okay. Consider that. But not for sowing. So, rotavator is the thing which is, if you see the complex construction of rotavator, it is used for sowing also. It is used for stripping the field also. It is used for preparation of the field. That is what stripping of the field also. And in the stripping of the field, it is also, also responsible for removing the weeds. Okay. Next. As I was talking about this, the answer is correct, which of course, Prashant only has given and Brinda also has given. Contour bending is the answer. Aja hai. See, bench terracing kyu hota hai? Bench terracing is liye jata hai kyunki jo mountain ka slope hota hai, usse zyada surface area hume bench terraces pe milta hai. To zyada crops plant, plant kar sakte. In English, I'll tell you. Bench terracing is done. Of course, the other secondary objective may be to reduce the soil erosion. But the main objective here is that whatever slope is there, if you reduce the, if you increase the length of the slope and how you are going to increase the length of the slope, if this is the slope, you are going to make stepwise pattern. So, jaise jaise aap length of the slope increase karte jato, automatically soil erosion kam ho jayega. And in bench terraces, here the total number of plantation of crops, those will increase. So, the purpose of bench terrace is to increase the surface area for plantation. Terrace farming, again terrace farming here is done in the uneven topography and more importantly here the objective is what? Of course, by uh, conservation of uh, water as well as reducing the soil erosion, here the main objective is to increase your production. Zinc terracing, graded bunding, all these are related to your crop production. Only contour bunding which we are talking about, the main objective here is not plantation but rather just soil erosion to prevent soil erosion. This is your contour bunding. So, buns, if this is the slope, if you construct a bund, a erected extended extension area, okay, any platform, it may be cement, it may be mud, that is of course for preventing your soil erosion, soil erosion by wind, by slope or by water movement. Question 5, cricket ball or kalipatti varieties are of which crop? Sapota, citrus, papaya, apple, plum. Very easy question. Cricket ball and Kali Patti. Sandhya, very good. Prashant, very good. See, try to understand. As I already told you, there are different, different names of crops. Okay. Names of horticultural crops, names of field crops. And each of these crops are having various varieties. In last lecture, we also knew about, uh, we tried to know about certain varieties. There was one of the question which was related to Jaya variety and Jaya variety of, 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 uh, of which crop? Rice crop. Okay. Okay. Right. Similarly, Amrapali. It's a variety of mango. Okay. Similarly, Alfonso. It's also a mango. Okay. So, in this way, any crop is there, you should be knowing its varieties. The answer here is Sapota. Now, again, one thing I'll be giving you a clarity. In such type of question, there is no room for elimination. Aap elimination tukka wagare kahbi kuch nahi kar sakte. Aapko cricket ball or kali patti agar sapota nahi pata hai, okay? To aap isme se tukka nahi laga sakte aur agar lagate ho, to aapke marks cuttingge. So don't do that. Agar pata hai to pata hai, otherwise nahi pata hai. Cricket ball, kali patti, ye dono varieties sapota, yani ki jo hum chiku kehte hai, okay? Uski varieties hai. Next. Curing temperature of potato is dash degree Celsius. 33, 37.8, 25, 35, 20. Yeah, lijiye aapka data based ya fir factual based question. Isme aap kuch bhi nahi kar sakte, aapko malum hona chahiye. Agar nahi pata hai, if you don't know, 
you have to move on. 60 questions are there. Time is also very, very less. If you know something, you know. If you don't know, move forward. Nobody is going to kill you just because you have not solved a particular question. Based on my wisdom or maybe experience, I'll tell you, if you are moving from one question, if you are leaving one question, okay, that's a really great thing to do. Because you are being honest with yourself that I don't know any knowledge about that particular question and I'll move on. Okay, I'll leave that particular question. Okay. ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव बहुत सारे लोगों ने ट्वेंटी फाइव दिया और वो गलत आंसर है ट्वेंटी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके तो ट्वेंटी करेक्ट आंसर है जो कि है ई ट्यूरिंग टेम्परेचर पोटैटो का ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस है ट्वेंटी फाइव नहीं है तो यहां पर प्रशांत का सही है सर प्लीज टेक इट इन इंग्लिश सी आई एम डोंट वरी अबाउट इट आई एम डूइंग बाई लिग्वल जस्ट वेट हैव अ पेशेंस ओके फर्स्ट आई एल डू इन हिंदी देन आई एल डू इन इंग्लिश देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स यूर सम मे बी नोइंग हिंदी Some may be knowing English. What shall we do now? Right? So be patient. Have patience. I'll explain everything again if I want to in English. And don't worry. Brinda also had the same problem. But I'm there. I, I will cover everything in English. First in Hindi and then I'll repeat everything in English. So here curing. What is curing? Can anybody tell me in the comment section? Curing kya hai? Batao jaldi. To hi pata chalega na. Then only we'll understand what does curing means related to potato. Okay, in comment section, tell me what curing is. Okay, yeah. So curing temperature of potato is twenty degrees Celsius. Remember that. Now see here how minute is the difference. Some students were saying twenty five. Some students were saying twenty. Kitna close hai ye? How much close is is this? Curing is preserving. Do not give information half. Are you agricultural student or are you a other graduate student? Preserving is done by various purposes. Salting is there. Sugaring is there. What is curing specifically? What is that particular word in which we do understand? Curing means okay, this is curing. You should know that. Be specialized in your knowledge, right? This is AFO examination. This is not NABARD. NABARD, it is open for all graduates. AFO isn't. So that you should you should know. You should have clarity of all the concepts. Sandhya is right. See, curing is the process of providing heat. so you are preserving the food but provision of heat okay next which fish can easily grown in brackish water with quick growth rate and can tolerate fluctuations in temperature try to understand what it said theek hai pehle statement samjho which fish easily grown in brackish brackish matlab kya estuarine water theek hai salty bhi hota hai thoda sa fresh water matlab zyada salty nahi hota hai theek hai brackish थोड़ा कम सॉल्ट लेवल विथ अ क्विक ग्रोथ रेट जल्दी से ग्रो करता है एंड कैन टॉलरेट फ्लक्चुएशन इन टेम्परेचर व्हाइट प्रॉन सार्डाइन टाइगर श्रिम्प लॉबस्टर मिल्क फिश ठीक है डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है ये पर ये जो आप क्वेश्चन देख रहे हो डिफिकल्ट है इसमें से बहुत सारे ऐसे फिश या फिर ऑर्गेनिजम्स होंगे जो कि ब्रैकिश वाटर में मिलते हैं लेकिन ग्रोथ रेट भी फास्टर होना चाहिए एंड कैन टॉलरेट फ्लक्चुएशन इन टेम्परेचर ऑल्सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो अंडरस्टैंड वेरी केयरफुली दैट This particular organism is in brackish water. Tukka hai sir, tiger. Yes, this is correct answer. This is correct answer. I'll show you how. See, white prawns generally, if you see, these varieties of white prawns, these are cultivated, and they need an optimum temperature. They cannot survive in fluctuating temperatures. There, are, see, for prawns, they are very susceptible to temperature. you go uh, and observe in uh, krishna godavari basin you go and observe in the rivers of salem in tamil nadu there you will get an idea that here definitely fluctuations in temperature prawns cannot survive see sardines fish which i am talking about sardines milk fish they regulate their temperature so they they, they cannot survive in again fluctuating temperatures take example of sardines if you take indian ocean sardines if you see 
then they can survive in uh, the temperatures like ocean temperatures which are tropical okay if you take example of atlantic sardines arctic sardines then there they can survive in the lower temperatures but then they cannot survive in the overheating temperatures if you talk about lobster then lobsters are also temperature sensitive and uh, of course in brackish water very less chances of finding lobsters in brackish water so the answer here is tiger shrimp okay this but this shrimp tiger shrimp is the biggest shrimp of all this variety is the biggest shrimp of all okay sir can you provide a full lecture in fisheries we have all olibird has already launched our courses okay for afo two batches are there one is complete prelims and mains batch and second is of course only prelims batch i am going to take their fisheries don't worry about it you can just visit our uh, platform and you can join the course which of the following is the silk cotton tree now remember as i told you there are different types of silk varieties muga silk airy silk tasser silk these are based on those silk worm which are surviving on those trees or maybe feeding on those trees now there is one particular tree that is called as silk cotton trees on this tree you will see that silk cotton have been formed and that tree is kapuk okay it's not sal see sal is this this question when you are looking at aapko lagega ki aapko ye nahi aa raha hai difficult question seems to be a difficult question but actually isn't how sal it's a hardwood tree not used for silkworms deodar again hardwood these are all timber trees eliminate this silver oak again eliminate this and eucalyptus also eucalyptus has been planted on all the highways in india okay if really silkworms were there you would have understood so eliminating all these first four you will get the answer kapuk so this is your kapuk it had such cotton balls of silk okay next rock phosphate is used in which type of soil saline sodic acidic alkali neutral soil give the answer very easy question alkali acidic alkali acidic don't be confused first decide what the answer is going to be or fir baad mein answer do rock phosphate okay so general your chemical is phosphate okay saline soil mein use hota hai kya in saline soil what is used generally can anybody tell see saline soils are converted into fertile soils by a certain process okay so here no any chemical application is done uh, a series of uh, mulching then a series of keeping the land barren such activities are done for the rejuvenation of soil see sodic soil acidic soil alkali soil see neutral soil agar neutral soil hai to rock phosphate kyu lagayenge neutral soil is very well for plantation so answer will come from sodic acidic or alkali soil acidic acidic most of the students acidic answer they right there are only two three students who have given alkali brinda is saying alkali and the answer here is acidic soil you could see here dekho jo uni aise aapne yellow color ke agricultural markets mein aapne aisi boriya dekhi hogi you would have seen such sacks isme hota hai rock phosphate powder which is generally used in acidic soil dekho yaad rakho basic soil agar koi raha ya fir sodic soil तो वहां पर क्या अप्लाई करते हैं जिप्सम अप्लाई करते ठीक है ताकि जिप्सम ऐड करके सोडिक सॉइल का न्यूट्रल सॉइल थोड़ा सा न्यूट्रल बन सके सॉइल सिमिलरली एसिडिक सॉइल में अगर हम देखें तो वहां पर रॉक फॉस्पेट ऐड किया जाता है ठीक है आगे विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग एम्लोरिएट इज कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव 
एंड इजिली अवेलेबल फॉर द रिक्लेमेशन ऑफ सोडिक सॉइल सोडिक मतलब कौन से ऑफकोर्स बेसिक सॉइल लाइट बेसिक सॉइल होते जिप्सम अमोनियम सल्फेट लाइन आयरन आयरन पायराइट एंड अमोनियम नाइट्रेट मैंने अभी आंसर दिया आई गेव द आंसर जस्ट नाउ ओके डी समन इज सिंग डी लाइम वॉट वॉट आर यू डूइंग आई जस्ट नाउ सेड टू रिक्लेम द सोडिक सॉइल जिप्सम इज यूज जिप्सम इज द एंसर ओके सी सोडिक सॉइल लाइम सोडिक सॉइल जिप्सम इज यूज लाइम इज यूज फॉर जनरली बेसिक सॉइल्स देर इज अ वेरी थिन डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ बेसिक सॉइल एंड सोडिक सॉइल ओके बेसिक सॉइल यू विल सी दैट द पी एच लेवल्स आर रियली वेरी वेरी हाई ओके अबो नाइन यस जिप्सम इज द करेक्ट एंसर नॉट लाइम लाइम इज फॉर बेसिक सॉइल्स देन इंडिकेटर प्लांट फॉर बोरॉन डिफिशियंसी इन सॉइल्स ओके इंडिकेटर प्लांट फॉर बोरॉन डिफिशियंसी इन सॉइल्स If there is a boron deficiency in soil, then this plant can grow very very well. Which is this indicator plant? Wheat, rice, sunflower, mustard, or safflower? Very good, Madhu. Madhu, very good. Brinda, very good. Vishal, very good. Dhar, Dharni, very good. Very good. Nice. The answer here is sunflower. Okay. Now see again a random question. Now uh, maybe you have read all the previous year question. Some of the students may feel that I was not able to give the answers, but many of the students are giving the answers. Always have what is PYQ analysis? What is past year paper analysis? It is not just to know the answers of this question. Real PYQ analysis is what to understand the question. then second is to understand the answer and answer means all the options okay then third is to understand the source of the question and its repeatability this topics repeatability now deficiency of particular macronutrients and micronutrients favorite topic of any agriculture exam right so repeating of that they have selectively asked in soil if boron deficiency is there then which is the indicator plant see wheat and rice out of the box okay the answer will boil down to sunflower mustard and safflower okay so it requires vast reading to solve such type of questions no denial about it but when you do the analysis when you understand the question when you understand the answers so here you will understand there would be certain deficiency nutrients which will be also associated with mustard safflower rice and wheat and that is what you also have to prepare for this question there is very very less chance that it will be repeated again in next year am i right but the topic will sure shot get repeated today they have asked about boron deficiency tomorrow they may asked about iron tomorrow they may ask about molybdenum right in last to last lecture only we saw that boron in cells is required for what in plant cells similarly molybdenum in plant cells is required for what now these are legitimate questions and very very difficult right some students will be knowing it and there is no chance to eliminate in such questions that is why i tell you this is what previous year analysis is and this is what i also want to direct you that don't just follow like a herd of lambs or goats okay jhund ki tarah bas piche by closing your eyes just don't walk where everybody is walking aapko samajhna hoga why this question was asked you have to understand what was that reason that examiner is only asking these type of questions come on ibps afo is a exam where the syllabus is complete graduation of bsc of agriculture right but the questions if you see they are neither those that easy and neither that very difficult that nobody can solve so there is a particular pattern the examiners will not go out of the pattern and previous year analysis is nothing but catching that pattern and keeping it handy at yourself you get the idea i hope you understand ye samjha sabko jo maine abhi bataya you me tell me in the comment section ha ya na because everybody in various competitive exam feel ki previous year question practice kar liya we have done previous year question practice 
बट नो बडी नोज कि एनालिसिस क्या होता है वॉट इज एनालिसिस एनालिसिस इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग द नव ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एनालिसिस इज आई नो दैट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री धिस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट धिस मेन्स ए एफ ओ एग्जाम देर वुड बी हंड्रेड परसेंट अ क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द ब्रीड ऑफ इधर बफेलो और गोट आई कन्फर्म नो दैट देर वुड बी कंपल्सरी अ क्वेश्चन ऑन सिल्क वर्म्स देर वुड बी अ कंपल्सरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ डिसीज विच इज रिलेटेड टू प्लांट आई नो दिस लाइक आई एम हैविंग श्यूअर शॉर्ट गैरंटी देर वुड बी अ कन्फर्म क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन एग्रीकल्चरल इक्विपमेंट्स सी आई आई एम गिविंग एग्जाम बट स्टील आई नो इट दैट इट विल कम कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम कैन नॉट बी क्लियर बाय युअर एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड दे कैन बी क्लियर ओनली बाय युअर एटीट्यूड एंड एप्टीट्यूड विच यू विल ओनली गेट इफ यू प्रिपेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिलेबस ऑफ दैट पर्टिक्युलर एग्जाम ओके सी यू गाइज हैव जॉइन दिस पर्टिक्युलर चैनल नॉट ओनली फॉर ए एफ ओ आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ अगेन नाबार ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इज कमिंग ओके एंड आई गिव यू अव स्प्लैश मेनी ए एफ ओ ऑफिसर्स एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड ऑफिसर्स वर ऑलरेडी इन टू बैंक दे प्रिपेयर फॉर नाबार्ड ग्रेड ए राइट सो देर फोर गेट एन साइक प्रिपेयर फॉर वन इयर गिव युअर हार्ड वर्क वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉट आर ऑल एग्रीकल्चरल एग्जाम्स यू गेट द नैक ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल एग्जाम्स You will clear every damn exam which is coming in front of your way. Okay? कोई भी exam आने दो आप clear कर लोगे But understand first. समझो exam को Do not run after knowledge. I am really telling you, do not run after knowledge. Okay? You have to clear the exam. Yes, knowledge is essential. It's quintessential. Okay? Before clearing the exam, you need to have knowledge. but it is not the only thing which will make you clear the exam this is the reality of today's competitive exam knowledge is essential but it is not the only thing which will make you clear right 2000 3000 students if you see in afo examination those would be smart those would be hard working and those would be putting their life on line to clear the exam well, maybe studying 8 hours 12 hours but why only just maybe 90 100 do only this much will clear it is because you require something which is more than knowledge i hope you get it question number 12 fish is able to tolerate different concentration of salinity is known as what fish is able to tolerate different concentrations of salinity are called as what simple ek fish hota hai agar ye fish if this fish is in ocean it can survive in saline water If it is in river, it can survive in fresh water. Now remember, stenohalines are those fish we can survive in less saline water. Eurohalines are those fish which can survive in higher sal salinity of water. Oligohalines are those fish we can survive in both saline as well as fresh waters, right? Estuarine, of course, mix of both, where ocean and river mix together. The answer here is eurohaline. Eurohaline are able to adapt wide range of salinities, whereas stenohalines they can only sur survive in a short or narrow range of salinity. Here in eurohaline fish like molly can survive in fresh water also, in brackish water also, in salt water also. Okay, so what is the overall difference between eurohaline fishes? See, they drink sea water. Active ion transport through gills happens, and concentrated urine is removed from the body. Water loss also happens through the skin, and these are all the important physiological features which are responsible that these species can survive in higher ranges of salinity. I hope you get it. Option, समझ में आया सब? Yes, estuarine means, of course, which is a mix of uh the saline as well as river and water stenohaline narrow range of salinity eurohaline very wide range of salinity and oligohaline means what both okay curl toe disease in poultry is caused by the deficiency of which vitamin so in poultry chicken hens are there if you see their legs they get curled like this so curl toe paralysis is a disease okay which we get in chickens hens and majorly poultry which vitamin deficiency causes this i told you deficiency one question will come in this exam now which will be coming 
ए फोर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड सी इयर द क्वेश्चन दिस इज वॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अ एग्जाम इज ऑल अबाउट यू डोंट नीड फैशनेबल डिग्रीज एंड नीदर डू यू नीड द एक्सेसिव नोट्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड विच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग विटामिन बी टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर ओके येस बी टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर बी ट्वेल्व नहीं बी टू ओके विटामिन बी टू इज द करेक्ट आंसर ब्रिंदा यू आर वेरी करेक्ट वाई द प्रपोर्शनलिटी ऑफ अलाइड सब्जेक्ट सो हाई इन दिस एग्जाम प्लीज प्रोवाइड द पी डी एफ वाई द प्रपोर्शनैलिटी ऑफ अलाइड सब्जेक्ट सो हाई इन दिस एग्जाम बिग सी आई टेल यू वॉट जनरली आई बी पी एस एफ ओ एग्जामिनेशन द बेसिक क्वालिफिकेशन विच हेज बीन रिटर्न दैट इज बी एस सी एग्री and that is why all the allied subjects have been given the same importance if you see the syllabus the syllabus seems to be very very close to nabard and the chapters are also very very similar to nabard but the depth of the questions if you see that is much more higher nabard is nowhere close to afo so therefore try to understand see the proportionality of the allied subject is in such a way that even a generalist even a basic basic agri student maybe from any agricultural university can clear this exam that's the main reason If you want to apply, of course, specialist posts are there for you. You can go for those posts also. You get the point. B twelve is the answer. See this curl to paralysis. See this. Unfortunately, look at this. Bichara chicken. Next, drought purpose breed cattle is dash. Tharparkar, Gir, Red Sindhi, Sahiwal, Krishna Valley. Breed related question. See here. Repeated. what i meant is that try to understand the exam now is the time to understand the exam thakur a very good thakur wrong answer tharparkar is not a drought purpose breed sahiwal milch purpose right this re gi red sindhi tharparkar these are not drought purpose krishna valley is the only one which is drought purpose okay this is your krishna purpose uh, krishna valley this is your drought purpose cattle oil content present in groundnut is how much nabard repeated question this year's nabard this question was there in groundnut how much oil is there sorry not oil protein was asked in groundnut so see here how these agri exams they just keep on exchanging the terms In AFO, they have asked oil percentage in groundnut, right? In NABARD, they ask protein content in groundnut. See, they have they are just making fun with you. They are just playing around. Fifteen, twenty-two, thirty-five, forty, forty-four, fifty-two, twenty-two, twenty-four, eighteen, twenty. It's forty-four, fifty-two. That's the correct answer. Who has given the correct answer? Nobody has given the correct answer. Nobody. Only Sujata has given the correct answer. I guess thirty-five, forty. That was wrong answer. Who has given it? Brinda, this time you are wrong. Forty-five fifty-two. That's your oil content present in groundnut. See, I am also not sure about this option. Though, see here, forty-four fifty-two has been given in the answer list. What I saw in Tamil Nadu Agricultural University website is thirty-five to forty. So, I think Brinda. Uh, that's why she has given the answer thirty-five forty. Okay. So, let's do one thing. uh we will keep this star and what you guys are going to do is that do homework go and find the sources okay go in uh, arun katyan and go in nimrat sundar also and find out how much oil percentage is there in groundnut from what i know 35 40 on tnau maybe i have seen yes protein bataya hai sabne 35 40 protein bataya hai sabne oil percentage is correct it's 44 52 only See how you got confused. In NABAR, they asked protein percentage of groundnut. Here in AFO, they asked oil percent. Now you can get confused. How much percentage is oil? How much percentage is protein? See, you you missed it. You guys missed it. आपको फंसा दिया AFO ने और NABAR ने. दोनों ने फंसा दिया आपको. How to keep every content percentage in memories? Any tips, sir? Simple सी बात है. देखो, सारे oil seeds की list बनाओ. मैंने कितनी बार बताया. Every time I have told this. For NABARD and all agri exams, you should do not waste your time in just reading books. Take white sheets. In that white sheets, make tables, make multiple tables. If I was on in your position, I would have make a page 
in that I would have written all the oil seeds. I would have written in one block protein percentage, oil percentage. You understand? In that only I would have written how much oil seeds are there in MSP. Interrelation, multidimensional approach. This is what studying is. This is how you approach competitive exam. In one page, you complete all oil seeds, their information, their climatic requirement. Next page, make this table. I, oil seeds varieties, oil seeds oil content, oil seeds protein content, oil seeds MSP, everything on one, one two pages. You should have three to four pages in which puri kundali hai oil seeds ki. Everything A to Z is there about oil seed in three, four pages. This way you will, of course, and every day, then this just for oil seeds, if you are having three, four pages, it's easy to revise also. In this way, you can actually clear the exam. And it's not just about clearing the exam also. It is having a satisfac uh, satisfaction also that uh, my concepts are clear and I can revise that content whenever I want. See, it gives you a different confidence. And if you do such revisions before exam, how easy it would be to recreate or maybe again uh, uh, recollect it back into the exam, real exam, okay? Next, Kurg is a commercial variety of which plantation crop? Coffee, see Kurg, where it is located? Of course, Karnataka, Southern Karnataka. It is a commercial variety of which plantation crop? Variety, Kurg named variety is there, which crop? Yes, of course, Karnataka name comes, tea and coffee plantation comes first. So here, of course, this is your coffee plantation. Kurg is very, very famous for coffee plantation. You should be knowing that. By which of the following test, milk pasteurization is done or not can be determined? Done or not can be determined. So, which is that test through which milk pasteurization is done or not, okay, in a milk that is found? Alcoholic test? No. Clot on boiling test? Methylene blue reduction test? Alkaline phosphate test and none of the above? The answer here, I hope everybody is knowing. Methylene blue. See, again one guy, wrong. Methylene blue is not for knowing that either a milk is pasteurized or not. No, that's not. Alkaline phosphate test, ALP test kaha jata isko. It is called as ALP test. It is done to know whether a milk is pasteurized or not. And why milk is pasteurized? Of course, why? To kill the bacteria or kill the microbes in the milk. Which of the following method is not related to direct gene transfer? DNA transmission, gene transfer, Particle bombardment, gene transfer, tissue culture, no, here gene transfer is not there. Micro injection, gene transfer, electroporation, gene transfer. So here you will understand that tissue culture, C is the answer here. In tissue culture, you just cut one small tissue part of a plant and from that you recreate a complete new whole organism from a single plant. It is related or maybe at the level of tissue or cells. It doesn't go beyond your genetic, that is your my, uh, micro cells and your DNA structures. It is not at genetic level. Then, as per first revised estimate released on 21 January 2021, National Statistical Office Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation Livestock Contribution in GVA in 2019-20 is dash. So, livestock contribution to GVA is how much? 4.6, 4.8, 5, 4.4, 5.2. Very, very important question. In NABA 2021, they had asked, what is agricultural contribution in GVA? And that at that time, it was 18. Today, it is almost 21% or 21 point something. That is 22 around. At In the year of 2021, it was 18%. But that was agriculture's contribution to GVA. Here in uh, AFO, they have asked livestock contribution. So try to understand. See how examiner are just playing with you guys. Same statement, just yeah, exchange kar do, replacing the words, nothing else. Some are saying 4.6, some are saying 4.8. The answer is 5.2, guys. It's E. Okay. So your livestock contribution is 5.2. Who has given correct answer? No, 
नो वन हैज गिवन करेक्ट आंसर वेरी गुड ओके पाश्चराइजेशन इन मिल्क इज डन फॉर वॉट टू रिटेन द कलर एंड फ्लेवर ऑफ द मिल्क नो टू एनहांस द एसिडिटी नो टू रिड्यूस द अडल्टरेशन इन द मिल्क नो टू रिड्यूस द फ्लैट ग्लोबल्स इन द मिल्क नो टू किल द पैथोजेनिक बैक्टेरिया येस दैट्स करेक्ट इट इज टू किल द माइक्रोव इन द मिल्क ओके फॉर सैनिटरी पर्पज नेक्स्ट विच इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज यूज टू डिटरमाइन अडल्टरेशन ऑफ द वॉटर कंटेंट इन मिल्क हाइड्रोमीटर लैक्टोमीटर लैक्टोस्कोप हाइग्रोमीटर एंड एनिमोमीटर सी हाइग्रोमीटर एनिमोमीटर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन लास्ट लेक्चर इलिमिनेट देम हाइग्रोमीटर ऑफकोर्स फॉर युअर मॉइस्चर ओके लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस इलिमिनेट देम हाइड्रोमीटर ऑफकोर्स रिलेटेड टू वॉटर लैक्टोमीटर एंड लैक्टोस्कोप इज द थिंग एंड लैक्टोमीटर इज द एंसर लैक्टोमीटर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ मच मिल्क इज देर एंड हाउ मच वॉटर इज देर नेक्स्ट मेजर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक सिम्टम ऑफ स्टेम बोरर इन राइट वॉट इज स्टेम बोरर इफ सपोज दिस इज युअर स्टेम then from inside only your stem is destroyed okay so major characteristic is it chaffy grain dead heart ciliary shoot hopper burn and white patches so the answer here would be what is the answer here what is the main characteristics yes dead heart very good at least here you are not wrong dead heart from inside of course dead heart is the main characteristics b is the correct answer i am very happy that this was a difficult question but still you were able to do uh, when such characteristic symptoms and maybe disease related question comes i expect that student will back off but you have answered it kudos to you many students are afraid of disease even i am sometimes afraid of diseases see here this is boring okay so stem borer any insect such type of boring they do uh, boring in the sense from stem they eat from inside okay yes white hair also very good brinda very good good observation then muga silkworm is reared on which of the following trees again silkworm related i told you see <laughs> two three topics i told afo just loves them okay terminilia arjuna resinius communis mulberry bombyx mori and soam and saula uh, uh, soalu muga silkworm muga silkworm variety grown in which type of tree soam and soalu okay this is your soam and soalu leaves you will understand silk worms are grown on this uh, trees and they are called as muga variety pusa nanne variety of papaya is developed by what okay mutation hybridization conventional breeding tissue culture and none of the above okay now see here huh? it's a hybrid variety pusa nanne tissue culture is should be eliminated okay conventional breeding see for plants majorly breeding is not done for animals it may be very less chance even csr various hybrid plant varieties if you see very few would be done by conventional breeding either hybridization or mutation that would be your answer sometimes you can take a shot okay sometimes you can take a shot for example brinda has taken a shot even dharani has taken the shot okay and see here dharani was right mutation is the answer mutation is nothing but any change in nucleotide sequence as a result of failure of the system to revert the change so mutation means what whatever your dna is there okay so some of the strands of your dna or genes those mutate mutate means to change over uh, abruptly so they changed okay this question was asked in grf which was repeated by abps exactly see i'll tell you one thing overall when we talk about agri exams limited pool of question is there so i will recommend you cover all the jrf 10 years questions afo 10 years questions okay and nabard 10 years questions if you do this i guarantee you you can you will clear leave about cannot fail you will clear all the agri exams in one year in one year only you can clear all in the sense at least this three you can clear very easily sir how do we get these questions on internet there are free of cost 
ओके ऑन इंटरनेट देर आर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट यू कैन ज्वाइन माय चैनल ऑल्सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी पोस्टेड फॉर एग्रीकल्चर एग्जाम्स नाबार्ड प्रीवियस टेन इयर्स क्वेश्चन एंड ए एफ ओ दीज ऑल पीपीटीज एट वंस आई विल बी गिविंग यू टूडे आई विल अपलोड दो ऑल द पीपीटीज विच आई हैव जे आर एफ ऑल्सो आई विल बी पुटिंग ऑन माई ग्रुप सो यू कैन ज्वाइन सेन पाई फॉर एस्पेरेंट्स ओके नेक्स्ट अम्रपाली इज अ क्रॉस ऑफ वॉट ऑफकोर्स वी ऑल नो इट्स ऑफ मैंगो सो हियर आर ऑल द वराइटीज विच आर रिलेटेड टू मैंगो दसरी नीलम सिंधु रत्ना रत्ना नीलम अल्फांसो नीलम नन ऑफ द अब नाउ वन मोर थिंग आई टेल यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो रिपीटेड एक्चुअली एंड दिस इज अ फेवरेट क्वेश्चन ऑफ स्टेट आर ओज एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑफिसर्स ए ओज ओके सो माइंड यू दिस एज दिस इज द मोस्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन ऑफ ऑल टाइम Every time, I don't know what are they obsessed with this Amrapalli mango. I don't know. Yes, you are right. Dasheri and Neelam is the correct answer. Okay, but uh, uh, agriculture exams are obsessed with this Amrapalli. I don't, I don't know why, but they always ask this question. Sir, please tell about RNA, DNA. Shortcut is DNA. डीएनए आर एन ए वॉट कैन आई टेल अबाउट सी देर सी सर्टन पोर्शन वुड बी देर ऑफ ऑल युअर एग्जाम दैट वुड बी रिलेटेड टू बेसिक साइंस विच कम्स इन दी फिजियोलॉजी ऑफ प्लांट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल युअर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी इन दैट डीएनए आर एन ए प्लांट ओके सो आर एन ए इज नथिंग बट इट इज रिलेटेड टू द फंक्शन ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस वेर एज डी एन ए इट होल्ड्स युअर जेनेटिकल इन्फॉर्मेशन दिस इज द बेसिक थिंग टू नो Apart from that, in depth, maybe I will take one lecture completely based on biotechnology. At that time, I will explain. Dasheri Neelam. The trick is A D N. Amrapali Dasheri Neelam. A D N. Yes, such tricks you can make. One more question, sir. Please help. How to do assertion in J R F question? What is third variety? Third variety. This one, okay, okay, okay. Nilam Alfonso RNA, Sindhu third. Okay, you are telling the tricks. Okay, see, it doesn't matter. Tricks, क्या याद रख रहे हो? ठीक है? Just cover it. Okay, it's very important. There is no guarantee this will again be repeated in AFO. Okay, just I am telling you, varieties are important. That's what we should know. A koichi disease in rice is due to toxicity of what? Zn2s, Fe2s, H2s, FeS2, and CaO. F2s that is ferrous sulfide. Uh, F2s that is ferrous sulfide. H2s hydrogen sulfide. Okay. so what is the answer here can anybody tell c c c many yes hydrogen sulfide is the correct answer uh, a koichi disease in rice is because of the toxicity of hydrogen sulfide gas okay or hydrogen sulfide in soil next keeping in view the interest of sugarcane farmers the cabinet committee on economic affairs has approved fair and remunerative price for sugarcane for sugar season of 2122 What is the fair and remunerative price for sugarcane in rupees per quintal? Two hundred and ten, two hundred and eighty, two fifty, three twenty, two ninety. What is the answer here? So there are two things. First is MSP, and second is FRP. Okay. Now MSP. What is MSP? It is the minimum support price, minimum price which is guaranteed to farmer. Okay. Calculated based on, of course. the overall overall spendings or maybe overall costs which come in the cultivation for farmer whereas frp it is an fair remunerative price okay it is only for sugarcane croppers okay and it is calculated not just on the cost of cultivation of sugarcane but it is also calculated on the production cost of sugar that means calculation considers farmers as well as sugar mill owners that is the main difference 
रुमेनेंट नहीं फेयर एंड रेम्यूनेरेटिव प्राइस ओके सो द आंसर हु कैन गिव आंसर यूर 280 एटी और थ्री ट्वेंटी द आंसर इज टू नाइनटी ईयर गाइज ओके नॉट टू एटी टू नाइनटी ठीक है तो होता क्या है मैं आपको बताता हूं शुगर केन इज देर राइट सो वॉट एवर शुगर केन इज देर वॉट इज मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस द ओवरऑल प्रिंसिपल इज ऑफ मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइस ओनली सी शुगर केन इज एन वेट लूजिंग प्रोडक्ट इफ आई कल्टिवेट द शुगर केन आई हरीडली हैव टू टेक इट टू द इंडस्ट्री because sugar cane will become dry the more it will become dry the less would be the sucrose content right but farmers also want to sell the sugar cane at higher prices right of course everybody wants profit there is very high chance that farmers will not sell the sugar cane if the prices are low in market but there is one problem here for msp that would be okay because rice wheat they will not be affected because of the climate or because of the brief span of hoarding the crops yes within 4 hours we need to process sugar cane in sugar cane we cannot hold it so what will happen is that farmers if they hold it the quality of sucrose in that sugar cane will reduce okay now remember very carefully if the government looks at this particular fair remunerative price just as minimum support price just to support farmers then the sugar mill owners will go in loss why all the sugar cane farmers will hoard the sugar cane and they will sell it only when the market prices are higher and this will result into sugar cane mill owners to get such sugar cane which has been hoarded that means sucrose content would be less and therefore they will not produce higher sugar cane content that means high sucrose content sugar so overall their production cost will increase because per sugar cane per quintal of sugar cane they will get less sucrose content okay the overall the bricks percentage which is there that is sucrose content per quintal that will reduce because of the holding of this so therefore government came with an idea government said that suppose you are having x quantity of sugar cane okay then fair remunerative price would be base price and along with that sugar cane when they will go to sell that sugar cane in the sugar mill they will also calculate the sucrose content and that sucrose content based on that sucrose content 1% 2% 3% upon this 290 rupees per kg they will get more 10 rupees 30 rupees 40 rupees based on the sucrose content so therefore sugar cane farmers will cultivate the sugar cane and immediately sell it to the sugar mill owners and at the same time sugar mill owners will not reluctantly pay them less based on this mechanism of 290 plus x based on the bricks percentage okay yes yes very good comment section very good sucrose get converts into glucose due to depletion of inverted enzyme exactly now this is all about frp which is related to sugar cane next question queen of milk breed among the following goat breeds so which of the following goat breeds is called as queen of milk mewati badavari jamnapari sanen and barberry this goat which we are talking about it is also used in haunted movies to represent devil ek bhoot ko bhi dikhaya jata hai isko ye jo goat hai na as a bhoot bhi represent kiya jata hai yes this is your sanen theek hai satan hota hai na satan okay so this is your sanen okay i hope you got it this is how i used to remember sanen queen sanen champion yes correct next adiabatic dehumidification will lead to dash in humidity and dash in temperature adiabatic dehumidification adiabatic means what adiabatic means 
you do not change the temperature and dehumidification means what humid in the sense what whatever moisture is there dehumidification is nothing but converting that moisture into liquid okay this will lead to dash in humidity adiabatic temperature you are not changing dehumidification of course dehumidify in the sense what reducing the humidity so decreasing the humidity and in temperature see you are not changing the temperature but you are reducing the humidity what will happen to the temperature yes very good increase so here the answer would be decrease and then increase okay now again this was also a tough question you should have clarity of climate little bit okay so therefore the answer here is c decrease and increase dehumidification will result into reduction in your humidity adiabatic dehumidification temperature is same we don't change the temperature but you are reducing the humidity you are reducing the humidity moisture you are reducing you get the point automatically temperature will increase it's similar like i take you from hill station to rajasthan desert humidity more where it is hill station so the temperature is down less humidity is in rajasthan temperature is high that's what the logic is sometimes when complicated statement come observation use observations last question dual purpose breed of goat is dash barbary black bengal marwari jamnapuri or all of these last question and we will end this session here thank you very much guys in comment section mention the answer here i am not going to tell the answer here maximum questions logic se chutenge one student is saying that major of the questions can be solved through logic but in exam hall everything will come into your mind except logic this is my challenge <laughs> and that is why you should always believe in two things when you are in the exam hall first is your confidence and second is your logic uh, your knowledge okay first is your confidence second is your knowledge now that knowledge may be less may be mediocre may be high doesn't matter but trust your knowledge if you trust your confidence if you trust your knowledge automatically trust me you will find the logic in the exam otherwise logic will not come to you rest everything in the world will come to you uh, related to exam how to avoid confusion see confusion see why confusion is there confusion is always related to lack of clarity always it is related to lack of clarity so that is why the only solution is to revise more lack of clarity is not about not knowing the things it is about knowing the things but not able to recollect them properly this is what you have to understand so the answer here is all of these okay all of these are dual purpose breed okay guys thank you very much see you next time uh, tomorrow we will be meeting and we will start with 2020s paper is it okay okay so that's it we will end the session share it guys share it wherever possible you can okay uh, status videos lagao bhai share karo ताकि बहुत सारे बच्चे हमारे साथ जुड़े ठीक है अगर सेशन अच्छा लगा तो ऐसे ही कंटिन्यू करेंगे लेकिन कोई फायदा नहीं है कि अगर आप शेयर नहीं करोगे इफ यू डोंट शेयर देन देर इज नो मोटिवेशन फॉर मी सो दैट्स व्हाई शेयर ज्वाइन द ग्रुप एज फास्ट एज यू कैन ओके देर वी कैन हैव अ चैट और एनीथिंग विच यू वॉन्ट टू ओके सो बाय